Here we can see the types of chromosomes. The chromosomes are categorized in two forms based on the position of centromere and based on the function of chromosomes. So based on the position of centromere, centromere which is also called as the primary constriction. So based on its position there are four types of chromosomes. They are telocentric, acrocentric, submetacentric and metacentric. So first one is the telocentric. So in telocentric, the centromere will be present at the proximal end. Proximal end means at the beginning. So this is the centromere. And here the chromosomes are rod shaped. So this is the rod shaped chromosome that is telocentric. And next one is the acrocentric. In acrocentric, the centromere will be present at one end. Not at the proximal end but little below to that. That is at the one end. So here one arm will be short and one arm will be very long. And this was also rod shaped chromosome. And next one is the submetacentric. In submetacentric the centromere will be present near the center. Not at the center but near to the center. Hence here two unequal arms will be present. And it was J or L shape. So in J not the sleeping line. This portion it was unequal. One is long and the another one is short. And in L one the standing line is short, long. And the sleeping line was short. So this is the submetacentric chromosome. And next is the metacentric. In metacentric the centromere will be present at the center. So the centromere will be present exactly at the center. Hence two equal arms will be present and it was in V shape. So in V we know that the two slanting lines will be same size that is V shaped and this is the centromere and these are the two arms which are in equal length. So these are the types of chromosome which is based on the position of the centromere. Next we can see the types of chromosomes based on their function. So based on function, there are two types of chromosomes. They are the autosomes and allosomes. So we know that there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. So 23 pairs means 46 chromosomes. So in autosomes, autosomes 22 pairs are involved. So it will determine the somatic character. Somatic means body character. That is our character, behavior, our growth. Everything will come under this. Somatic character that is autosomes and these autosomal chromosomes that is in male and female have equal number of autosomal chromosomes. So both the male and female have 22 pairs of chromosomes that is 44 chromosomes will be similar in both the male and female. So 22 pairs of autosomes. So, so how many chromosomes are remaining? That is one pair that is two chromosomes are remaining. So that chromosomes are the allosomes and these chromosomes will determine the sex of the individual and hence it is also known as sex chromosomes and these chromosomes are different hence it is known as also known as heterochromosomes and the two types of chromosomes which present in male are X and Y. So X and Y chromosomes will be present in male and in female 2X that is 2X chromosomes will be present in female. So in female the chromosomes are same and in male the chromosomes are different. These are the types of chromosome based on its function. Next is the karyotype. You have come across this word karyo before itself. So in prokaryote, eukaryote, karyokinesis. So everywhere this karyo, this word will come and this word means nucleus. And we all know that the chromosomes will be present inside the nucleus of an organism. So what is the number of chromosomes and what is the size of the chromosome and what is the shape of their chromosomes inside the nucleus that is known as the karyotype. So karyotype is the number, size and shape of the chromosomes in nucleus of organism is the karyotype. And ideogram, ideogram is the diagrammatic representation of this karyotype. So karyotype just we saw what is karyotype. 
and a diagrammatic representation of the karyotype of an species is called the ideogram. And here the chromosomes are arranged in such a manner that decreasing length, decreasing length means the tallest will be at the top and gradually the length will be decreasing that is decreasing length then based on thickness and based on the position of centromere that is the types of chromosome based on the position of centromere we saw before and the shape of the chromosomes. So, by this manner the chromosomes are arranged in this ideogram and the chromosomes are generally always in pair the chromosomes are always in pair that we know and this pair condition is called as the diploid that is 2n two numbers two number of chromosomes will be present together always and during the time of reproduction only one chromosome will come out so that set, that single set of chromosome is called as the gamete. So during the time of reproduction, gametes are formed. So from the mother, only one gamete was formed. And from the father, only one gamete will come. So when these two gametes, that is the X and this from father, this X or from father, this Y chromosome will come. And this single set of chromosomes are called the gametes. And when these two gametes are getting fused, it will form the zygote. And this single set, this condition is known as the haploid condition. That is, only one chromosome was present, hence it is called the haploid condition. These are all about the chromosome.